break with the uh, office admin staff having to jump in the truck. Yeah. We might do a bit of a walk around here while we're uh, getting off. Needed cooling to the rear wheel motors. We had to actually put ducting right around these wheel motors to direct the air. Um, yeah, everything's, uh, everything's quite modular now, so we had to do that. So, so for a lot of our customers now, even uh, even WA, they're doing repowers. We just send the whole whole module out with the radiator, engine, alternator, all done. So it's below 115 in retard. I mean, leg room. Yeah, it, I mean, it's a very large cab, um, guys. Um, a bit of spaghetti, but. Uh, Ele you know, anyone around like electricians, this is this is how they think about a cabinet, right? That blower fan there is pumping air into the control system. That's all it does. This guy here is pumping air down into the um, into the two wheel motors, into the rear axle, and that's all its function is. So we run a H bridge, and I talked about the modes of control. It doesn't matter what mode it's in; you can operate these into. So it'll be. Um, I know that's what one of the things that a lot of long years of being on the road is every ancillary of the factory. Um, uh, 375-8. Yeah. Right. Now, straight from the factory, we've got a lot of operation. A few little tweaks like that. Operator visibility is one thing that was a huge focus on this, this model. With diesel particulate filters, and they've got a high. Uh, High combustion dosing nozzle to create that extra heat and it's all burnt off through those. Pre-certified lanyard points straight from the factory. So we've got a new fixed control steering lever. Check this. Uh, yeah, you can see the ripper down there. You can see exactly, especially uh, a lot of dozers are try on coal and they're trying to cut that coal seam. Yep, and, and, I, and that's, can, I can see the floor from the cabin, that's good. Yeah, that's imperative for, for that. And all the uh, controls in the dozer now are all electronic over hydraulic. So.